So did you know there are active volcanoes in Australia? Some here in the state of Victoria in a region of young and dormant but still active volcanism. This is known as the New Volcanic Province. There are over 100 eruption centers here and the products are from mafic dominated explosive and effusive eruptions. So there are two types of eruptions, explosive and effusive. Effusive eruptions are from low volatile magmas and they usually produce lava flows and domes. Some other odd effusive lava flow features are uh, what basically look like piles of rocks. So these are known as lava blisters or tumuli and they form from upwelling of lava through solidified crust. Okay, so I'm here at Aries Inlet. This is on the Great Ocean Road in Australia and we're looking at some pepper right here. Maybe. Most of the eruptions are from volatile rich, very gas rich magmas. And they, these are the ones that result in a really dramatic explosion. Some of these eruptions are so violent that they have volcanic bombs and blocks, and within them they've been trained bits of the olivine rich mantle. With explosion eruptions, there are mainly three main types, and these vary due to different water interactions. So we have uh, magmatic, which is dry, freedomagmatic, which is a mixture of magmatic and water, and then there's phreatic, which is uh, explosion purely driven by water with no magma interaction. Bird. Ash rich freedom magmatic layers are interbedded with scoria rich magmatic layers and this drapes and mantles topography. <music> Lastly, my favorite volcanic deposit, these are um, Mar Dietrim volcanoes. These are commonly associated with magmatic hydrothermal ore deposits. Some of the characteristic circular mar craters are beautifully exposed from the air in southern Victoria. These form from extremely violent freedomagmatic and phreatic explosions. I'm here at Tower Hill. We see a bomb site behind me and we're looking at Mar deposits. Again, we see here at Tower Hill our intermixture of dry basaltic scoria and wet ash deposits. So we have the Mar Rim, which is composed of mostly freedomagmatic surge and fall deposits, and this is very circular around the Mar Dietrim complex. Then we have a downward taping diatrim, which is usually a breccia body. You see high energy ash and pilly sized surge deposits with cross beds here. This is an intraplate of volcanic provenance, and it's a bit of an enigma what actually causes volcanism here, but it's thought to be maybe from varying convection currents between underlying lithosphere and a senosphere. Okay, so I'm here at the 12 Apostles. Um, it's a national park here. They're made out of harder and softer layers of limestone. They're sea stacks and they're eroding at about a rate of two centimeters per year just by wave action and the sea. All right, bye for now.